fuck all really uh just needed some time off uh to, to start the new year man uh 2019 uh good riddance i'm glad you're dead fuck off forever please uh but luckily things are happening things are moving right now i thought this was the downtime the cpt's not happening that shit's over it's supposed to be uh, like even the uh fucking third strike tournament didn't happen it was there was no co-op cup at the start of the year because that was rescheduled for another time but oh boy do we have news i'm excited to talk about this this one brought me back this one brought me back into 2020. Fuck 2019. We're in 2020 now. Netcode has changed. Uh, I will have to thank Altamore. Thank you for agreeing to come on the show and talk about your your PC fix. Uh, happy to have you on. You're very welcome. I'm happy to be on. Yeah, what questions is... do you have for me? <laughs> well, <laughs> what questions do I have? Yeah. I have a lot of questions. Uh, specifically about like how it works and and why it works and and what you did to do it but we're not gonna we're gonna, we'll get to that in just a moment okay the start of the show every time i have people on i give you a little bit of time to kind of pitch whatever you have going on so if you don't have anything going on that's fine uh but just to get things out of the way just so if you want to promote anything right now it doesn't even have to be stuff that you're doing if there's anything out there that you want to direct people towards uh now would be the time uh, only thing I want to promote is Melty Blood. Come to the Melty Blood Discord, play some Melty Blood. Great game. <laughs> Word. Okay. That's <laughs> that's awesome. Actually, I mean, you're not wrong. Melty Blood is a good game. Uh, that it, is. It's, you're not wrong. It's, it's a bit sexy for my taste. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you fucking perverts out there. Uh, don't Google Melty Blood with Safe Search Off. Just don't. You don't want to do that, folks. Uh, but... That's not what we're here to talk about. Not here to talk about Melty Blood. We're here to talk about Street Fighter, uh, specifically uh, with Street Fighter Five. Now, Ultimate, you made a what are we calling it? Is it just a patch or like a hot fix or a mod? What would you call? Yeah, I just I'd call it a mod or a patch. Okay, so explain to me what you've done here. What what exactly does your mod change about Street Fighter Five? So first, let me explain the bug that fix, and let's let's talk about a bit about uh, rollback netcode. So, mm -hmm. say both players' games are on frame twenty four seventy six. Let's make up a number. Uh, they send their inputs to me. That arrives on frame twenty four eighty four frames latency both ways, and their inputs don't match what my game predicted. So it mm -hmm. has to roll back four frames to frame twenty four seventy six and then redo all of its predictions from that point with uh, corrected inputs. And that's what caused that visual rubber banding effect. Mm -hmm. So what happens in Street Fighter V is one player's game lags behind the other. So say on that same connection, even with just four frames of latency, now I'm on frame 2480, but I'm getting their inputs from frame 2465, like 15 frames ago even though there's still only four frames of latency, and I'm getting huge unnecessary rollbacks. Hmm. And I'm still sending them inputs from, say, frame 2480, so they're not getting any rollbacks because they're games in the past and getting inputs that appear to be in the future. They have my inputs well ahead right. of when they need them. Right. And, and you're not the first person to discover exactly why this happened. This was something that was found out basically at the start of basically back in the beta this was this is a known quantity of of what street fighter 5 does in the netcode yeah and i know mike z made a tweet about it back in the beta right uh yeah mike z was like he noticed it i don't know if he like solved for why it was where i don't know if he dug into it at all back then uh but then i know that like loic did a lot of testing in terms of the online and there is there is a lot of it. There is a <laughs> there's there's been so much research into like why the Street Fighter Five netcode is bad that the mod team on our Street Fighter has a canned response, like a a mod like auto reply to <laughs> to complaints about the netcode to be like yes like we know the netcode is fucked. Here's exactly why. Here's like all of our it cites like all the sources. Like here's where you can read of exactly how and why it's bad. Uh, and maybe I'll link some of that in the show notes. But what you've done though you've i guess i'm gonna say quote unquote fixed it because that's what uh, that's what we're here to talk about is it fixed tell me that so 
The current fix uh, apparently has some issues with like cross-playing with PS4. I'm working on an update to remedy that. But what the fix does is say your game ends up too far ahead of the other players, <clears throat> it'll just slow down for a moment to get you both back in sync. So you won't experience any more rollback than your opponents. Hmm. <clears throat> if I were a dummy... No, oh, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, oh boy, coughing fit. Uh, if I were a dummy, though, how would you explain to a dummy what that means? Um, it's hard to give a simplified explanation for. It just okay. means that in both of your games timers stay in sync. Okay, that is that's good to know because Street Fighter Five did this weird thing, right, where it would introduce like a false latency. And I feel like that really fucked things up for a lot of people in terms of the online. Now, are you saying that this pad, this fix like removes that or is that specifically what you dug into? I mean, you might not know exactly what you've messed around with because you don't have the source code. Am I right in saying that? Uh, to an extent, but I think I have a decent idea of what everything's doing here. Okay. Um, in that case, then, how then... Uh, let's, how did you discover this then? This seemed like, again, when it comes to coding, I am, I actually, I, I did, <laughs> I presented that as in, if I were a dummy, but in this case, I actually am a dummy. I have no fucking clue how you could have even possibly done something like this, but you basically reverse engineered this solution. Am I right in thinking that? Yeah, I had to disassemble the game. Hmm. and use memory analysis tools to figure out what's what the relevant code was doing and how to uh how to get everything from the relevant data structures is there anything like interesting to report on when you did that was there like something that you know caught your eye not really it's pretty much what i was expecting to find the fix was what i expected it to be Oh, okay. So this is like something that you were specifically looking for, or at least yeah. expecting to see in the in the in your testing, as it were. And then, I, I suppose you knew exactly how to fix that. Then, yeah. I mean, we've known uh, what the fix would be for this for a while, right? Uh, I guess in that case, then uh, <laughs> another question that a lot of people have on their minds right now, and I mean, I guess this is. This is a relevant question considering this kind of came out of nowhere, but who are you exactly and why should we trust you? <laughs> uh, I'm not really anybody in particular, but I did make the hitbox viewers for GG Xart, DBFC, and Unist. Mm -hmm. Which is like an extremely useful tool. Like, that shit is fucking awesome. Like, I thank you for doing that as well. People in the Street Fighter community might not know what or or know anything about that because there's there might not be cross-pollination like that but you've got chops and you have uh, you have the community's interest at heart obviously uh but then i guess the second question is how can we trust you how can we trust that this isn't a root kit well i gave the source code with a link to my github and if you'd like, you can compile it yourself, and you can see it the resulting binary, assuming you use the same version of Visual Studio in that tool chain, will be exactly the same as what I gave you. Right, aside, from, cool. uh, aside from there's a string to the program database file, PDB file, that will be different. So if you check the hashes and you compile it in a different directory, that will be different. Okay, but... And all, for all intents and purposes, this is it's out there. So other people, other people actually have already done that and checked it. So this is like you're, it's all good. Ch your story checks out. We ran a background check. You're good. You passed your drug. You passed your drug test, or maybe you didn't, but that's okay. Uh, all right. So with that in mind, then, what is like in your experience, and from because this has like caused a lot of I want to say turmoil. Uh, at least from what I've seen, it, which is like driving me crazy. As a moderator of our Street Fighter, I've seen people, the, the takes on this are the hottest garbage. And it's it's very funny to me as like an observer, but like a nightmare as a moderator. Because people seem to be angry at you for making 
the net code good uh like are you are you all right are are you taking that in stride or are you yeah, able yeah. to brush that off as nonsense as as many many others are yeah i think some of the complaints are about the crossplay issue which is totally valid i'm working on a fix for that right now all right, so there is <laughs> potentially a fix coming up for crossplay but is there a fix coming for pc players who don't have the mod installed yeah and that'll be handled the same way Okay. If the other player is behind, I'm sorry, if the other player is ahead, it'll automatically speed up if their game doesn't resync and resync for them. Now, wait a minute. Slow this down and roll it back for a minute. Because what you've explained to me, what I assumed the fix would be, would be a check to see if that person has this change to the game and then revert the change so that it would run the same as before, but what you're saying is that it should run fine on both sides then? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, huh. so after this fix, it'll basically, it'll apply the fix for them as well, but in a different way since you don't have control over their game. Fascinating. Okay. Huh. That's, I, honestly, I'm surprised that that was the, that that's the answer to it, but apparently, it's, it's just that easy, folks. Now, what you've described in making this patch is that it only took you two days. Now, are you, is that a little bit of like a, a brag in terms of like, I only did it in two days? Or was this like a situation where you had done a little bit of work before and then come, came back to it and then did like over a weekend been like, oh, yeah, here's this thing? No, I actually started working on this like... Uh, a few days before I released it, but what I want to point dude. out, yeah, what <laughs> yeah. I want to point out is that the bug isn't very complicated. I think this is something Capcom should have fixed a long time ago because it's always been one of the biggest complaints with the game, and it's been causing mm -hmm. them to lose players and money. Oh yeah, like if <laughs> the history of the netcode wanting to be fixed is long and storied. Specifically on our Street Fighter, we've had, since the start of the game, we've had people uh, come in and vote on their most wanted fixes for the game, and six times in a row, it's <laughs> the netcode has been number one with a bullet every single time. We run it about twice a year. Uh, should about We should probably run another one, I'm going to assume, after... The, I don't know, because things are happening. Because the, the, I should also be clear on the timing of when we're having this conversation. This is currently uh, Saturday, the 11th, but the Capcom server's channel was like, hey, it's going to go down on Tuesday, because they do their maintenance on Tuesday. Do you assume something will happen this Tuesday concerning this patch? So I don't know. Apparently, uh, Yoshinori Ono has already grasped the situation whatever that means okay. uh, i fe i fear for my life <laughs> i think he's coming for me help i see i think that's not that is that to me is the most nonsense take of of you making this thing that legitimately fixes the game for the thing that people have been complaining about for literally the life of the game i can't Imagine in a world where that is done in two days and then a weekend later, Capcom comes back and says, we've patched it out of the game. Fuck you guys. That would be, that's, if, let's put it this way. If that's the world that we live in, I think I, I think I quit Capcom and I think I quit. <laughs> Like, I don't work for Capcom, but to be clear, people have confused that a couple times. I don't, uh, like, nah. I think I would just stop entirely and, and recommend people do the same because that is just so aggressively anti-community, especially when you consider that they have Olympic qualifying events in the schedule to be played online. Why yeah. would they shoot themselves in the... F I gotta say, Capcom has, like, in terms of, like, accuracy they have a hundred percent accuracy when they are specifically aiming at their own foot they never miss they are hundo percent on that shot they aim that shotgun right down at their foot and they're like i got this shit bow so i can't i can't 
cannot imagine that the Tuesday maintenance has any... If it has anything to do with this patch, it fixes all of the netcode, in my opinion. Yeah, and that's what I'm hoping for. One of my goals of this was to push Capcom into doing something themselves. Which I think has been successful. People ask... People have... uh, multiple people have come to me and said, well, are we going to run the online tournaments with, are we going to allow the patch? To which I say, fuck yeah. Like, yes, we will allow the patch. Because, specifically, uh, it was a situation that reminded me of the time where, and this was a couple months ago. God, was it a couple months ago or was it like a half a year ago? <laughs> fuck time, man. How does it work? Uh, but you remember when... Daigo picked up the the Gaffro box and people were like, that's kind of like a cheat box. It's doing weird, cheaty stuff. And his reply to that take was, why shouldn't I do this? I should push the boundaries and push the rules because there's nothing in the rules right now until it breaks, until someone has to has to respond to this. Because uh, he was like, I don't see any reason why to play it safe. Let's push things forward. I think what you've done here is pushing things forward. It breaks the rules it changes the game and has the potential to be the catalyst to move things forward. That's the hope. Yeah, absolutely. I hope I'm really glad to see such a uh, big response to it. I didn't think it'd blow up as much as it did, but I'm glad I could bring everyone's attention to this issue and hopefully get Capcom's attention as well. You didn't think this would cause a stir? <laughs> Excuse me. I thought it would cause a stir, but, um, it blew up so quickly. I wasn't expecting that. It. I'll be honest. It's going to be sticky on the the front of our Street Fighter until it doesn't need to be. Let's put it that way. Because it is that important. What you've done is so imp- And I. Hey, listen. I get it. People. I get it. This patch being out there and it kind of fucking things up for other players. I understand the complaint there. But what I don't understand is the complaint under the assumption that nothing will be done in response to this, where it's only like a cup. Think about like being, man, could you admit, I'm trying to put myself in myself in the shoes of someone who is still playing Street Fighter V ranked in 2020, who who is concerned like who experiences someone who has the patch and experiences this like lopsided rollback and is like wait a minute lopsided rollback how dare they cause lopsided rollback in street fighter (laughs) five my guy that's how the game's been since its release like nah fam like calm down i like and i also get it in terms of people who have like this patch is available to like maybe some people can't run it or or uh, they they have they can only run it on ps4 and that makes things uh, kind of unfair be it a financial situation where people just can't play on pc or or whatever the case whatever the case but still but still it's it's doing something you can see i we've seen an entire community so many people have been like oh my god this is what is this this is it makes the game what it should have been years ago honestly uh but i don't know it it surprises me that you didn't think it would be as impactful as as it has been because it really did blow up over the course of like a day legitimate like it was a day where where all of this blew up right it was last yeah Was it Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday night? Wednesday, I believe, yeah. Wow. All right. But yeah, that was fucking wild, man. Uh, But along with that, though, just so that everyone's mind can be maybe at ease, the patch, the the fix for that lopsided rollback is coming from you. Yes. Okay. Is there, do you have like an estimate on when that might be ready? Uh, Probably either this weekend or sometime next week. Oh, cool. So, like, hmm. Uh, hmm. that's the expediency of which you are able to fix this is alarming. Do you have any insight? Could there be any explanation as to why or how this wasn't changed? So I've always heard that they outsourced a lot of the networking for SF5. Right. And making a fix like this requires at least 
some knowledge of how rollback functions, and maybe they just didn't have anyone in the house with that knowledge. Hmm. Because um, I assume they have to be aware of the issue. Oh, they absolutely know. There's, like, I have full disclosure, I have contacts at Capcom. We forwarded those notes to Capcom a number of times. They've said that it's useful, but still no response after X amount of years. That said, I think you might be right. I think that that is the case of them just not knowing what to do about it. But at the same time, I, I continue to think to myself, like, UMBC th uh, our, uh, UMBC I had good functional rollback netcode. It was, it was good. And yet, but then again, I don't know. Was that done in-house? Do you know the answer to that? I should have done research for that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Might be able to research that quickly if we talk about something else. But what I will say is that it's, I don't know, it, it boggles the mind that someone without source code, without really anything to work with, was able to break this down and be able to fix it within the course of two days. Is that, I don't know, what's like your, I just want to, I just want to pick your brain on like, what do you, th what do you think about this whole situation? What is like your take on this? I mean, I think if Capcom didn't have someone who can deal with that, they actually should have hired someone or they should have contracted someone to do it. Because like I said, it's one of the largest issues with the game. It's just losing them players and money. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be absolutely worth the investment for them to have at least like a team that knows that we're do what they're doing when it comes to fighting game networking. And I think every fighting game development studio should have people who absolutely know what they're doing when it comes to that. Because for any fighting game released today, online is incredibly important. The vast majority of players will be doing most of their grinding online. Like there's only a small percentage of the community that consistently goes to locals constantly and has uh, buddies that they play with offline all the time. Or even has access to a, a local situation where it's, oh, yeah. it might be like the, the time cost, the time investment of attending a local could be high for somewhere where you just have to, it, it allows access to fighting games, uh, like we haven't had before if you have good competent net code that that feels good that feels similar to not quite it's never going to be that actual experience of being there in front yeah. of the person it's it is very much its own thing to be sitting next to someone playing the fighting game you can't you can't beat that experience but you can make it pretty close uh, I mean, just for example what i've seen with the patch that you've created is people legitimately on the other side of the world with punishing each other in Street Fighter V. To me, that's just, it is, it's, it's mind-blowing. It's To see that happen in this game is, it is a legitimate game changer in terms of the, uh, the access to having a good fighting game experience for so many more people if they know this patch exists or if it could be implemented in the game just uh, imagine what a world we would be in if if this was if this was a day one thing i just uh, yeah it, good rollback can provide a decent experience up to a very surprising distance between the players yeah like and the, uh yeah and a connection like in the same country in the same region will be 99 percent as good as offline it also does like un untamed like th things that aren't as obvious of like it expands the the network of which you can connect to that 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 five bar connection turns into a much wider net than than what it currently is you know like yep. you can you will be able to find matches fast like the pool of players of which you'd be able of playable players that you could pull from becomes much larger uh when the net code is functional uh but just it's been so long i guess that's the 
I don't know. That's the weird thing of of having this having to deal with Street Fighter Five netcode as it has been for the last uh, just about four years now. Four years in February, uh, where it's been such a struggle, and to think that a fix was as I mean, it's I I hate to say that a fix like this was so easy to do because of what you've been able to do with this fix. But like, was it easy to do? It definitely, definitely required some, uh, a good bit of reverse engineering. And that part is difficult. The actual logic of the fix isn't too complicated. I'd say that part was easy. Hmm. I, I guess then I have to ask you the question and you have to answer this you, before I ask this question, tell me right now that you will answer it honestly. I will. Promise me. Yes, I promise you. Okay. Are you very intelligent? Are you uh, considerably I, intelligent? Are you very, like, are you considerably intelligent? Yeah. Okay. I, I feel bad saying that. <laughs> you you promised, though, that you would answer correctly. And I'm glad that you did, because I feel like it, it takes a, a little bit of effort to, to do what you've done, to reverse engineer something, to know what you're looking for, be able to find it, and then be able to fix it. Granted, it might have been an easy thing to do in terms of actually doing the thing, but at the same time, I do want to, I just want to give you credence of, like, what you've done is significant and the work that you've done is significant and important and thank you, I guess is, is what I'm trying to say in so I, many words. And thank you for saying that. And, uh, you and the whole street fire community are very welcome. Cause that's the other thing is that I guess I have to ask you this question as well. Do you really care about street fighter? So I haven't played SF5 for a while, but I did play it a bit after release, and the netcode was what ended up pushing me away from it. And I'd say Street Fighter is probably my favorite fighting game series overall, so I'm going to give uh, SF5 Championship Edition a decent try now that I made the fix and I can actually enjoy it online. Right. Because as it is right now... what. I think is the like the gentleman's agreement. the The thing to do is to really only use this patch as it is right now. You're fixing it currently to to work cross platform and with people who don't have the patch. Is to only use it in like you set up a, a lobby against someone else who you know also has the patch installed, which provides a a good player to player experience uh, for what it's worth. It's. I'm just. I guess I'm just frustrated after all of these years that like it could have been, of what could have been, you know. Yeah. Like, like you said it earlier. Like there, there was so much money on the line, so much, uh, so much. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, trust from the community that was lost during the transition from four to five. Granted. Four doesn't have good net. By the way, Four's net code is not good. By the way, people like look at that with rose tints. That shit was kind of bad. Uh, yeah, it is. To be clear, Five. To think that Five could have been a very good. Because what I've seen from and what I've experienced from the patch that you've made is legit like maybe some of the best net code that there is like close to some of the best rollback net code available in modern fighting games it could have been that from the get go and part of that just it hurts my heart man so i guess thank you for making something happen and making the the developers do something about it because maybe they will come Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday will be just another. T By the way, this is kind of an aside, but Capcom pushing updates to Street Fighter Five only on like only on Tuesdays is so uh, just 
Ah, it's so choice that 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 is the day that they've chosen to (laughs) to change (laughs) to update and change their game every time. That just seems to be the date that the server always goes down for whatever reason is the day that they choose to do maintenance, and it is just oh so perfect, (laughs) so so perfect. What a blow up! But that in mind, is there anything else that you have to say about this patch or anything that you would want to say directly to? the people from Capcom who listen to this show? No, I think I've covered everything. I just think that Capcom should really look into putting it, uh, resources into making their own fix for this. Mm-hmm. It's a relatively easy thing to do that would be a huge gain for them. If they were to try to contact you, have they? I guess I'll ask you this. Have they tried to contact you? No, they haven't. Is there a possibility? Hmm. There a possibility that you could make yourself a avail- because you don't like you said you're not really on social media that much you're kind of hard to reach uh is there a way for people to reach you if they wanted to discreetly uh it's really just dming me on reddit there you go folks you heard it here you th- the person's there i know people from capcom are on our street fighter you could reply to that thread it's sticky to right at the top if you need information the user is right there it's it's going to be right at the top until something happens. I don't know what that something is, but it's going to be at the top until that something happens. Uh, I, hmm. I guess then for anyone who has doubts about what you've done, is there anything that you would want to say or reply to about people who are who, who seem to be angry about this situation? So if people are angry about the uh, crossplay issue, like I said, that's totally valid. I'm working on the fix for that. Mm-hmm. Other than that, like, if people still don't trust whether they should use the fix, there's plenty of footage out there showing the results of it. Are there any complaints or any comments in the threads that you've made that you would like to reply to directly? Because, I mean, you have the microphone, they can't reply back, so feel free to, to talk over them, as it were. <laughs> uh, no, not in particular. All right. What a, what a gentleman. Uh, but then I guess my my final question to you would be, uh, what exactly would hmm, let me try and think of how to phrase this question because it's because things legally get weird, right? Or or, or am I being facetious but maybe i'll just ask you directly because we could we could get the if they were to implement this patch legally speaking is there like any recourse to that is there like any because like do you own the code it gets like legalities get fucky when it comes to using open source code right well, it depends on the license you use. With the um, GPL license, yes, if you use GPL code, your code also has to be GPL. But I released uh, my fix under the MIT license, which means you can do whatever you want with that code. Okay, so if they know that it exists, they can use it legally, and you're effectively giving them the okay to use it because of the license that you released it under? Yep. All right. All right. I think that answers my question then. Because I thought things might get a little little weird, but apparently you know exactly what you're doing. Again, the the coding world is something that I just, I'm not really a part of, and I have a hard time understanding it because I am a stupid person. But I think you've done a very good job of explaining exactly what the situation is, exactly what you've done, making things as available as possible uh, with as much... Uh, 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 clarity as possible and you know I uh, thank you for that so that's uh, that's fucking rad dude uh, All right. the, I think that just about does it for the show unless there's anything else that you want to say about the patch or anything that you want to say about Street Fighter in general no I think we've covered everything All right, word. Uh, in that case I cannot let you go though without asking you a line of questions which I ask everyone who's it's the first time on the show uh, and it comes in two parts. What is your favorite normal attack in any fighting game? Because however you answer this question, I think can be a uh, a good description about like who you are as a person. You know, 
tells a lot about a person's soul from how they are able to answer this question. That is true. I would say Elfelt's busted ass close slash from Exard sign. <laughs> okay. Exactly <laughs> why though? Why do you like that move? It just it has a very stupid hitbox and it brings me joy. <laughs> That's the thing that I've been trying to tell people is that in fighting games, busted shit is why fighting games are good. Absolutely. You want to subject your opponent to as much bullshit as you can. That's why (laughs) fighting games are good. Sure, you have to deal with the bullshit, but you you get over that. You want to impose the bullshit on them, and the the close slash is... Elfet's close slash, very choice. In that same... In that same light, then, what is your favorite combo in any fighting game? Evil Ryu's Close Fierce, Medium Axic, Crouch Strong, Light Tatsu, uh, Hard Shoryu. Where, why exactly that combo? Because that you could extend that combo. Very care, true. Care, care to extend that combo? Uh, <laughs> we could do... Uh, I, I thought, uh, honestly... <laughs> Honestly, I thought for a moment when you started explaining that combo, I was like, is he going to really say out loud like the whole F-80? But you didn't. <laughs> you oh, the, it. <laughs> the uh, crouch jab, stand strong, light axe kick, F-A-D-C loop thing. I, I thought you would I thought you would go into that. I was like, he's really going to go in that whole thing. He's going to say all that combo out loud. But you kept it to the to that combo. Why exactly that combo? Um. I just play Evil Ryu, and it was very satisfying to do. It's like your choice combo. When it comes to like making a statement, that's what you go for. Because it's a damaging combo. It's pretty. It's beefy. Some beefy shit. Yeah. And like you have options in terms of like, did they block the initial hit? Where are we going from there? Like it's a, it's a good combo. Yeah, I mean, of course, you can FADC into it. You can also add a crouch strong at the beginning if you're at point blank range. Right. No, it's uh that's cool. All right, man. Uh, with that with that said, that will do it for this episode of RSF Radio. Again, I'm your host Joe Monday. Altimore, thank you for coming on the show and explaining this patch, this fix, this this modification that you've made to the game. Uh, hopefully, any listeners out there, if you've had some worries about this or questions about it, this has been answered. Uh, if not, please feel free to hop in that in that thread it's going to be stickied right at the top of our street fighter you can just go right there and do it uh to ask your questions uh altimore will see it uh but thank you again altimore is there anything else before we end the show uh that you'd want to forward people to or you still just nope that's <laughs> just it. melty just melty blood <laughs> just yeah. go go play melty <laughs> yep. All right, man. That is an honorable cause. Thank you very much again for being on the show. Uh, check. I think hmm, kind of like a little back end on RSF radio. I'm not sure that we're going to stick to the Thursday release dates anymore. I might change my life schedule to better fit this show into it. Again, I'm not sure if that will be the case. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. Uh, in if episodes come out like intermittently like this one has because this will be released uh, on Saturday versus the typical Thursday but who knows I, I don't know 2020 just started whole new whole new year whole new new our street fighter whole new net code whole new thing so we'll see what happens in the future but with that said you can always find the announcements on our street fighter or check it out on at Reddit SF on Twitter.com or at Super Joe Monday. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can email, email into the show. Uh, that's RSF Radio Questions at gmail.com is the email address if you have any questions or concerns or just like general questions for the show. Uh, with that said, folks, that will do it for another edition of RSF Radio. But until next time, take care.